Uh, I studied at Boston College. I study logistics and supply chain. Um, I study at Regent Business School and I do a BCom General degree. So if it happens that there's another pandemic coming, we're uh, like, we're ready for you. Hey, it's your summer, man. We are not waiting. We are not waiting. The government is telling us that we are going to be able to What's happening? Yeah. Tolu guti manje sisi ya pixa na guti wa into ya mabo mule na abanye ba ti kamga ngapa abanye ba ti kamwa basic vile Yeah. Yeah, but, I, but then I feel like this time will be better because we're be used to it. Yeah. So are you well prepared for it? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. If kinda, then clearly you, you might have yeah. some something. So how well, how prepared are you for the next one? I'm not like we really, not. really prepared, uh-huh. like because I know. Okay, to be honest, yeah, I was a homebody, so I didn't really like going out, yeah? Yeah. But the pandemic, yo, got me addicted to TikTok. Like, I was heavily addicted to TikTok because of COVID. It was, I think it was like with most people, it was, it was, it was confusion. Because um, the closest thing that, that, that I had reference to back then was the swine flu. But I was like, how old when the swine flu broke out? I didn't really understand the impact i didn't experience it as much as it was now and then it was um the misconception as well the confusion around it in the beginning where it was a flu but it's not really a flu and it came from a bed and it came from china so yeah and then um trying to comprehend everything stopping like you hear that like ramaphosa will say everything will stop when it's locked down but you think to yourself it's like nah man people are going to be outside and what what and to actually see everything stop it really put everything into perspective and like it put the world into perspective it put our own lives into perspective so yeah it was like a massive massive change for me for it was it was there was it was like a double side of sided coin because like i'm from pretoria so most of the classes are online so i don't have to be here so for like the first day of my studies i was basically at home so i was chilling on like rent and food um but then in terms of classes because i do live performance i'm an actor um it i can't learn without interacting i couldn't learn physically so that was the, the the main challenge trying to learn how to act trying to learn how to interact with people and with the crew and with the cast at home like far away from them because acting relies on or like what i study relies on the human interaction and that separation it was like a complete disconnect what 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 with the technology also um it, it, it i think it really showed like how advanced we are as well because like it 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 didn't stop a lot like People could still work, those that could. I remember with my mother, um, she moved the entire workstation she was able to and work remotely from home. And it's the same like with me at school, when they said everything was going to stop, I was complicating things in my mind, like how am I going to attend class now and what? And like things like Zoom on your mobile phone, it, it made things very, 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 very easy. Um, for me, um, I stopped, a small habit that changed, I stopped pressing the buttons on ATMs. Like with my physical hand, um, I've learned how to use like pens because that was a massive paranoia. And uh, I lost my uncle to, 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 to COVID-19. Yeah, my uncle passed away. And this was like a year after my great grandmother passed away. So like he got it. And I think he passed away within like a month of having it. So yeah, it was very devastating. Yeah, it, it, it made us realize how real it was. For a future pandemic, um, I think what, what the main thing that, 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 I, that I can prefer for is just stocking up on like non-perishable groceries. I think like stuff like baked beans, things that take long to expire and like toiletries. I think it's important to stock up on that, not just to buy like a pack of toilet roll and then finish it and then buy again. I think like personal hygiene stuff, like small things that, that, that we didn't take advantage of before. That, that's, that's like the, the least that I can do.